Hello everyone, this is Brian Bentley at CoinOp TV, bringing you gameplay and commentary for Ronko Sukagimi's Longest Day. Now, uh, this game is part is the fifth piece of a or a fifth part to um, a video game anime collaboration called Short Piece. Um, so the first four parts are uh, four anime shorts, and the total is about an hour, it's about sixty eight minutes or so. Uh, but a little over an hour, and uh, they're kind of weird, bizarre, but they're very interesting, um, you know, short anime bits. Um, and this last, uh, uh, the last piece is sort of this anime slash video game um, called uh, Ronko Super Gaming's uh, Longest Day. Now, one of the collaborators in this game is uh, Sudify One, which, if you're familiar with any of his previous works, No More Heroes. Um, you know, he's got another one in the works uh, coming out next year. Um, so, he kind of has a very uh, very unique style to the games that he collaborates on. Uh, and this is no exception to that. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it, the game is a runner. Uh, so that, that part's obvious, and it, it works just like a runner you would expect. But, um, you know, I, I mean, literally, I'm running away from a giant Pomeranian. I, 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 you know... <laughs> So that's, you know, so that's keeping it interesting. And you notice in the bottom right corner where it shows live, I'm not really sure. I, it, it's only funny because when I'm playing, I'm so focused on playing as Ronko uh, and, you know, jumping and running that I didn't even notice that, you know, like what it even looked like in the live screen until, ju until I started doing this uh, recording. Uh, so this is the uh, penultimate level. Uh, it's really the last running level. Now... The game is not just all running levels, oh, and I completely missed that prize there. Uh, probably a bit of concept art. Um, <laughs> it's not all just about doing this runner. Like uh, there's a level where you're kind of doing a shmup, you know, shoot 'em up. Um, there's that, and then there's like the 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 end boss, which I'm about to get to, is sort of this Mario Brothers collaboration. Uh, like a mixed Mario Brothers uh, fighting ice climbers game. Um, so it, it definitely, if, if nothing else, this uh, this game uh, has definitely kind of sparked my interest in interesting yet bizarre, um, you know, anime and video games together. It just uh, it strangely hits like all these really great notes. Um, None of the levels are particularly long, so it does, uh, you know, it kind of gives you this more bite-sized chunks, which I think people really enjoy. Um, but at the same time, uh, it gives you a variety of, of, of pieces. Now, uh, I, 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 I say, when I say pieces, I mean, you know, variety of gameplay. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie, uh, there are some, this, some of the parts of this game are way out there in left field. Um... That doesn't make it less enjoyable, it just makes it stranger, I, I, I'll fully admit. Um, so, <laughs> this is now the final level, and, and I, I find it completely bizarre. So, the entire game, you've been trying to get revenge on the per- you're trying to avenge your mother's death and get back and get revenge upon her killer, who also happens to be your father. So, you're about to get into this quote-unquote wrestling match with your father, who's a masked man, and you're wearing masks, there's a giant Pomeranian in the back watching, and the entire thing is completely refereed by your sister from 50 years in the future or something. So, um... It also made me realize as I, as I was listening to this, because it ended up, I'm not going to lie, it, this took me uh, multiple tries, at least half dozen or to, you know, eight tries to try to get this to work. Because um, you'll notice in round one, yeah, it's very basic. Round two, uh, when we get to it, you'll notice that the, the sister starts coming in after you. And you're like, seriously? Uh, the referee is now cheating. It's ridiculous. Um, and then I just barely got touched and I got a loss of mask. But that's not really the point. Um, so we're just... There's just so much, so much weirdness in this game that it almost, 
you almost start to appreciate just how weird it is, um, and it's something that you that you can enjoy. So, if this is your kind of thing, if you're into sort of this weird anime, um, or you're into runners, or uh, you know, you're just into trying something new, this might be a game for you. And here she goes. Now she's going to uh, cheat. Um, yeah. I, um, why? So so now she's going to float around. So now I kind of have to avoid touching her, or she'll seal my mask. At the same time, I need to go, and when he does a special move, I need to go hit him. Uh, so it's not exactly... Uh, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but, you know, whatever. Um, so it's just... There's just a lot to this game that's just kind of interesting and... Um, I don't want to say wild, but it, it really provides a lot of interesting tactics. It took me a while to figure out if you actually hit little things, then she kind of gets electrocuted and is stuck. Um, but, uh, like I said, Sudify 1's involved, so you know it's kind of weird and awesome at the same time. Uh, and I really appreciated that once I kind of noticed that. Um, now we're going to get now here into round 3. And uh, I'm not sure if the Pomeranian is actually rooting for us or against us. I, I, I sort of, uh, sort of confused on that, but that's okay. Whoa. Um, come to find out after watching all the um, uh, all the uh, credits and stuff, basically the uh, female voices are all done by one person, and all the male voices are done by someone else. Um, Oh, and then I just ran into somebody. That made sense. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that is... Uh, uh, I keep saying uh, Ronko Sugimi. Uh, so, actually, it's probably more like... It's probably more that. It's probably more... Uh, kis like, uh, Sakimi Ronko is probably how you pronounce it. Like, you know, sort of a Japanese uh, uh, way of doing it. So, now I've actually killed off all the extra bosses. And I'm trying to get a hold of the the final mask. Uh, and once I do that, uh, then the game is uh, then the game is over. So be sure to go ahead and like this video. Uh, I didn't show the uh, epilogue because I want you to play it uh, and check it out for yourself. But go ahead and like the video, leave comments below, and uh, you know, as always, subscribe to the Coin Up TV YouTube channel. Uh, you know, we're getting in, we're getting into the end of the year. It's holiday time. Games are afoot. Uh, so join us for all the extras uh, that you can handle. So thanks a lot, everyone.